Nigerians across the country are living in fear. This is amid terror threats from enemies of the state. Nowhere seems safe, as parts of the country previously thought to be safe have been placed on high alert, as intelligence reports suggest that terrorists have gradually infiltrated states beyond the north and may be planning attacks. From insurgency to banditry, kidnap for ransom and needless killings going on across the country, concerned Nigerians say the country has never had it this bad. Nigerians are traumatized. Nigerians are, are at the brink of losing hope. People see no reason why they should live now, given what is happening in our, con in our country. Whole families have been destroyed. Um, livelihood, source of livelihood destroyed. A lot of people do not see any reason why they have to live because they have no cause to live because of what is happening. Because you cry, nobody hears your cry. You talk, nobody hears your, your, your talk. You blow, I mean, nothing happens. Never in the history, I'm over 60. Never in my 60, over 60 years of existence in this country, never seen it this bad. The, the price of cement as at today was not what it was then. The price of bread as at then is not what it is today. The price of most of the things that Nigerians need have skyrocketed. A question on the lips of many concerning the worsening state of insecurity is what moves would government make in coming days that will, as a matter of urgency, address the situation? Now, let's quickly uh, get your reactions to recent developments with regards to uh, the threats uh, that was, or let's say, the intelligence reports that came out over the week, uh, last week, saying that uh, there were going to be a series of attacks across the country. And we saw that as a result of that, schools have closed. <sighs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, Nigeria is bad. Nigeria is finished. Nigeria is terrible. Yeah. I'm done for. Yeah. Is that your reaction? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that your reaction? You are crying, weeping, or in sad mood because of the situation of the country? Oh, is that your reaction? Or oh, your own is? Hey, I want to travel out of this country. I want to travel out. Nothing else. I get my passport. I move out of this country. This country is bad. This country is finished. This country is terrible. I feel like, ah, ah, how will I be staying? Let me get my visa. Let me get my passport. Move! Is that your own reaction? Oh, I know it's a very good thing to travel out of this country. I know it is a very, very good thing, especially for those who have the privilege to move out of this country. I know. But really, the question is, moving out of this country, is that the reaction to, to this situation of things? Do you even know what is happening over there? Now, if you ask me, what is my reaction to all this situation? And my reaction is found in Proverbs chapter 21, verse 31. It's the safety of the Lord. That is my reaction to insecurity in Nigeria. Safety is of the Lord. Safety is of the Lord. Of course, the truth, of the truth, there is there's insecurity. Of the truth, there is problem. Of the truth, there is chaos. Of the truth, there is kidnapping. Of the truth, there is one issue or the other in Nigeria. But the truth of the matter is, Bible says there is there is safety. Safety is of the Lord. The word says he's going to keep my to and fro. Whose report do you believe? Do you believe in the report of what God says about you? Or what the word says about you? Or what you hear from the television, the radio, or the news? Do you, do you even know what the Bible says in the book of Psalm 91 verse 16? It says, with long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. There are two things there. There is a place where God wants to satisfy you with long life. And the second one is salvation. God could have just said, with long life will I satisfy you. He put the salvation there because so many people live in long life. But live in long life in sickness and several pains and hurt. So he put the salvation there so as to complement the long life he has said. The salvation there is not just about being born again. The salvation there is talking about deliverances from Hollywood. The salvation there is talking about God keeping your welfare. The salvation there is talking about preservation. The salvation there is talking about God keeping you and protecting you. That is the report I believe. Of the truth, they are the report of the war, the report of the chaos, the calamities all over. But as much as that is there, 
I still believe in the report of what God says about me. I still believe in the report of what God has promised about me in his word. I still believe in what he says about my going in and my coming out. I still believe that when I go in, I'm going to come out safely. And that is what I believe. So I'm telling you, whose report do you believe? The report of God or the report of what they say about you? Or what they say about the country? 